All right, you guys, today's video is going to be a quick flip through of the marine biology course. It is a unit study for grades K through six done by the good and the beautiful. Here I have a little side sheet um, that I will discuss once I get through the flip through. So one of the most common questions I get is where I get my unit spiral bound. I get them done at Office Max. It's about $4 um, and I have them put a plastic cover on the front as well as on the back because I find that that just preserves the materials. Um, the next question that I get often is, do I order from the Good and the Beautiful or do I have them, um, or do I print it out? Because this unit is actually available for free on their website. Um, and the answer to that question is, I just have it um, sent to me from them. Their printing is a lot better than mine. The quality of paper is a lot better than mine. Sorry, that's my dog in the background that you guys can hear. So the first thing that you can see here is that there are 13 lessons in this unit. All of the science units come with the supply list right at the beginning, so that way you can um, make sure you have everything on hand. I personally like to get all this stuff at one time, even though I might not need it for a uh, while. And then the next thing is the optional read alouds. So you can order them and pay for them, or you can go on your library website and search and hold some of those titles if you do want to um, use some of the titles that they recommend, which I do um, think is valuable to do. I will sometimes find a book that I really like and I'll just throw it in there. Of course, you can add to this, um, but they do have some great suggestions. The next thing you're going to see here is the vocabulary section. This is a uh, spot where you would display this for your kids. I, it is spiral bound, but I will pull it out and cut these out um, prior to the start of this unit. And then here are some more um, terms that are being defined and you display them so your kids can always see them and uh, be reviewing the vocabulary. And then each lesson has the objective at the top and it tells you very simply some preparation work to do and then the supplies you're gonna need and then you just go down the lesson here. And each lesson is going to be different and covering some different things. Now you can see that there are about three, four, maybe even five, six, wow, there's quite a few in this unit, um, six or seven, even longer, eight pages to a unit. So for that reason, I, do my units broken up into multiple days. So these units right here, even though there's only 13, we might spend three days on lesson one. We might spend two days on lesson two if it's a little shorter. So I kind of look ahead and figure out, okay, how many days is it gonna take us to get through this material when I'm planning to do a unit? But I never do. <laughs> a whole lesson in one day because it would just be too much in my opinion. So moving through it, just giving you guys a little peek at the inside here, um, looking at different creatures of the ocean. So of course there is tons of things you can do with this. Um, this is really interesting here. I know my kids are gonna like learning about that. Um, and we're just going through it here. It shows you um, different experiments you can do. How fun does that look right there? Um, lesson three, marine life. And I will have my kids do a project on that, reading diff about different animals in the ocean, different sea life. These lesson extensions are great for older kids. Even though it says grade seven to eight, I sometimes will have my fifth and sixth grader do them as well. But just the quality of these units is amazing and the amount of information that's in here is amazing. I feel like some of their units are beyond, you know, what I ever, ever, ever learned. So I just love how beautiful they are. This looks like a book. So when I'm preparing, I'll pull that out and staple it together. But I keep them bound at first so that way everything's all together. Coloring sheets. 
um, different terms here we're going to be defining. So I'm going to be learning a lot with my kids this year. Um, fun puzzle facts. Shark is going to definitely be lesson number nine, a huge hit with my kids. And then it just goes all the way back to um, lesson 13. So you guys can see there's a ton of good stuff in here. Now, the other thing that you saw at the beginning was this little sheet. Now you guys know I'm a simple girl, <laughs> but when I get a unit, I do like to add in my own ideas or things I think my kids might like doing. And I know everybody gets kind of riled up about screen time, but um, I think these two movies would go great with this unit, both on Netflix for a field trip. Obviously, if you live near an ocean, lucky you. If you don't, you might go to an aquarium. Um, the books, I'm going to have my kids do a book report on an animal of choice that is listed in here. And then here are some project ideas. Um, I will try to put up little pop-ups of these things, but if you just search this on, say, Pinterest, you will find things. Um, like I said, I always plan to do one unit in two days, so 13 units is going to be 26 lessons for me. And I usually do science two times a week, so that's going to take 13 weeks and just buffering myself with extra time that's going to be about three and a half months so that's the way that i do it and then i'll just stick this right on in here and when we get to you know say when we're learning about um the different layers of the ocean i might put that on you know and i just throw it in there and really have fun using the unit but also adding different things to it here is a cute 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 little song that they're going to memorize so so excited about this marine biology unit i think it's going to definitely be a favorite and if you guys have done it let me know how your kids liked it it just came out not that long ago so i'm really excited to do it um, for our last science unit of this school year so thank you for watching this flip through i hope you guys enjoyed it all links to find everything will be down below if you have any questions for me, go ahead and post them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.